Hello Canadians, welcome back to the channel. I'm Smith and today we have huge news that will affect millions of Canadians, mainly seniors and retirees. Since August 26, 2024, OAS and CPP payouts have increased significantly. In addition, a game-changing upgrade might change how we approach retirement income in Canada. Some of you may be thinking another government pronouncement. The big deal? This is no ordinary update. We're talking about actual money increases in your monthly checks, more support for older seniors, and a new program to safeguard your retirement assets from inflation. We'll break down the figures, discuss what they imply for different retiree groups, and discuss how to maximize these new benefits in today's video. Whether retired or nearing retirement, this video has essential financial advice for anybody starting out. Grab a coffee, relax, and let's discuss this remarkable development. By the conclusion of this movie, you'll understand how these changes might affect your finances and maybe even feel enthusiastic about retirement planning. Excitement and retirement planning don't normally go to go together, but I'll show you why this is so important. Changes to old age security are first. Canada's retirement income system relies on OS for those new to the channel or need a reminder. You can receive a monthly payment if you're 65 or older and have resided in Canada for 10 years after 18. OIS is paid by general tax receipts, unlike the Canada Pension Plan, therefore eligibility isn't based on job history. Let's analyze the intriguing updates. For starters, the government raised OS payouts 3.5%. First, this may seem little, but consider the context. To stay up with inflation, we've seen 1-2% to yearly hikes over the previous few years. The 3.5% increase is far more than expected. Now things get more intriguing. Over 75s get an even greater bonus. The government continues to provide 75-year-old OS pensioners a 10% raise. This strategy was created a few years ago to help older seniors with greater health care bills and depleted savings. For those 75 or older, this is a big increase that might affect your monthly budget. OAS clawback income thresholds have also changed. OAS payments are taken back at 15 cents per dollar beyond a particular level if your net income exceeds it. The new minimum income recovery level is $1 insert amount as of August 2024. This implies you can earn this much without losing OAS benefits. When income surpasses this threshold, OAS benefits are lowered. OAS may be totally reclaimed if you earn more than $1. Although unknown, this method is worth exploring. OAS payments can be deferred for 60 months five years after 65 eligibility. With each month you delay, your payments rise 0.6%. This is 7.2% each year, up to 36% if you delay for five years. After the base rate hike, postponing OS might result in greater payments. Suppose you delay till 70, your health, other income, and circumstances determine if deferral is right for you. Comprehensive financial strategy. Lower income seniors should consider how OS changes may influence their guaranteed income supplement GIs. Low-income OS participants receive GS monthly. GS criteria have been modified to account for the OS rise, which is nice. This implies GI recipients should notice an increase in benefits. The amount will vary on your position, but the government wants to ensure that no GI's beneficiary loses payments due to these changes. Let's discuss Canada Pension Plan modifications. OASA and the CPP are important parts of Canada's retirement income system, but they function differently. OAS is paid by general tax income, CPPP by contributions. Your benefits are dependent on your contributions over your career. CPP payouts rose 2.8%, making headlines. This is a larger increase than in prior years, demonstrating the government's commitment to retirement security for Canadians. Understanding that not everyone receives the maximum CPP is key. How much you contributed to CPP throughout your working years, how long you contributed, and when you start your pension, determine your pension. Typically, folks receive 60% of the maximum, so when estimating your new CPP payout, you might compute 60% of the new maximum and modify based on your situation. Some may recall that in 2019, the government began enhancing CPP benefits. This improvement will be phased in until 2025. CPP replacement of average labor wages should grow from 25% to 33.333333 cent. Meaning for you, for those who have contributed to CPP since 2019, You'll notice this improvement in retirement. Longer employment and contribution under the upgraded system will increase benefits. For those entering the workforce today, your CPP retirement income might increase by 50% over the prior system. If you know about this, yet it might improve your retirement income. 
If you're currently receiving your CPP retirement income but still work and make CPP contributions required under 65, voluntary. Post-retirement CPP payments are available to 65, 70-year-olds. This may not seem like much, but each year you contribute, you receive a new PRB that stacks with your CPP retirement benefit. Not just retirement benefits are rising. Both CPP disability and survivor's pensions are rising 2.8%. As of August 2024, the maximum monthly payment depends on your circumstances and contributions. Let's talk about the exciting new initiative that might improve pensioners' lives in Canada. The government has introduced the Senior Cost of Living Adjustment SCOLA. This initiative addresses seniors' primary concern inflation's impact on fixed incomes. SCOLA will give OAs and CPP participants quarterly inflation indexed enhancements. This means seniors will receive an extra payment four times a year to cover cost of living hikes. The government will calculate quarterly inflation using the CPI. Based on this rate, OAS and CPP beneficiaries will get more. This payout will supplement OAS and CPP. All OAS and CPP participants can get SCOLA. This covers CPP disability and guaranteed income supplement recipients. The government says these payments will be automatically added to your benefits without application. Importantly, SCOLA payments are not income for GIs or income tax purposes. This implies these additional payments won't raise your tax bracket or reduce your GI's benefits. Why is the government launching this initiative now? Many of you know inflation has been a major issue recently. The yearly cost of living adjustments to OAS and CPP assist, but they typically lag behind real-time living expense increases. Seniors facing escalating prices will receive faster aid from SCOLA. To appreciate SCOLA's influence, consider a hypothetical case. Suppose inflation is 4% yearly. Under the prior method, benefits adjustments took up to a year. SCOLA provides quarterly payments almost immediately to counteract this rising expense of living. If a senior receives maximum OAs and average CPPP, SCOLA might add several hundred dollars to their annual income. This may not seem like much to seniors on limited incomes, but it might make a big impact in your lifestyle. Interestingly, this dynamic adjusting method isn't new. Other countries, including Australia, have similar systems. One of the most extensive SCOLA programs is Canada's, which covers OAS and CPP and provides quarterly adjustments. Every new program has problems. SCOLA's expense has worried some economists, especially in a time of strong inflation. Others wonder whether the CPI truly represents elder cost increases, who typically spend differently than the general population. The government plans to regularly monitor SCOLA and make modifications based on its performance and impact. This might involve changing payment frequency, adjustment calculation, or program scope. SCOLA offers an intriguing new option for retirement planners. It doesn't substitute responsible financial planning and saving, but it helps reduce retirement inflation risk. Thus, a complete overview of OAA and CPP adjustments with the fascinating new SCOLA program. These changes to how Canada supports retirees might provide millions of seniors more financial security and stability. Though these improvements are typically good, each person's situation is different. Talk to a financial counselor or retirement specialist about how these changes may influence your retirement plan. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more Canadian financial news and retirement planning suggestions. Remember to press that notification bell to avoid missing subsequent videos. Any questions regarding these changes? Does the new SCOLA program thrill you? Leave a comment below. Your comments and experiences are always appreciated. Before we close, let's explore some critical insights and action measures from these new developments. First, whether you're on OIs or CPP. Review your comments carefully in the following months. These increases and the new SCOLA program should be implemented automatically, but double check to be sure you're getting the right amounts. Discrepancies? Contact Service Canada. These developments may affect retirement planning for persons approaching retirement age. Increased benefits and inflation protection may allow you to retire earlier or with greater financial stability than expected. However, you must calculate and maybe consult with a financial counselor to see how these adjustments fit into your retirement plan. These modifications emphasize the necessity of contributing to the CPP throughout your career, especially whether you're in your 20s, 30s, or 40s. Your contributions today might lead to much larger retirement benefits due to 2019 CPP increases. When considering job offers or self-employment, consider this. Since CPP contributions can significantly affect retirement income, these developments offer a great chance to discuss retirement finances with our readers who care about aging parents or other senior family members. Many seniors may not know about these upgrades or how they help. Staying educated and sharing this knowledge might help your loved ones maximize rewards. Finally, retirement policy engagement is crucial. 
These modifications weren't isolated. Their development stems from continuing talks about supporting Canada's elderly population. You may influence retirement in Canada by remaining educated and voting, contacting your politicians, or attending public consultations. Retirement planning is a continual process, as seen by these major developments. Retirement benefits may change. To ensure your retirement strategy matches your goals in Canada's retirement income system, keep educated and evaluated often. Thank you for listening to our extensive discussion of these critical updates. I keep writing because of your interest in these things. If you like this video, share it with friends and family who could benefit. Together we can improve Canadians' retirement finances. Smith signs off till next time. Stay smart, informed, and let's have a bright future.